In this podcast episode, Joe Rogan welcomes Thomas Campbell, a physicist and consciousness researcher, to discuss a wide range of topics that delve into the nature of reality, consciousness, and the universe. Campbell, known for his work on the nature of consciousness and his book series My Big Toe, Theory of Everything, shares his insights and experiences that challenge conventional views of reality. Campbell begins by discussing the fundamental nature of consciousness, positing that consciousness is the primary reality from which everything else derives. He explains that consciousness is not merely a byproduct of brain activity, but rather the essence of existence itself. This perspective challenges the materialist viewpoint that has dominated scientific thought for centuries. Campbell argues that consciousness is an information system that evolves and interacts with the physical world, suggesting that our understanding of reality must include this non-physical aspect. As the conversation unfolds, Campbell elaborates on how consciousness can be understood as a vast, interconnected system. He emphasizes that individual consciousness units, like humans, are subsets of a larger consciousness system. This interconnectedness implies that our thoughts and actions can influence the collective consciousness, leading to a shared evolution toward greater understanding and love. This idea of interconnectedness is crucial for grasping the implications of consciousness in shaping our reality. One of the most intriguing topics discussed is Campbell's personal experiences with out-of-body phenomena. He recounts how, during his time in graduate school, he began to explore meditation and discovered the ability to separate his consciousness from his physical body. This experience opened up a new realm of understanding for him, as he realized that consciousness could exist independently of the physical form. Campbell describes how these out-of-body experiences allowed him to access information and insights that were otherwise unavailable in his waking state. Campbell's exploration of out-of-body experiences led him to a deeper understanding of the nature of reality. He explains that these experiences are not merely hallucinations or dreams, but rather a shift in perception to different data streams of consciousness. This perspective aligns with his broader theory that reality is a virtual construct, computed by a larger consciousness system. By sharing his experiences, Campbell encourages listeners to consider the possibilities of consciousness beyond the confines of the physical body. The conversation shifts to the topic of intuition and its significance in understanding consciousness. Campbell explains that intuition is a vital aspect of our cognitive processes, often overlooked in favor of rational thought. He argues that developing our intuitive abilities can lead to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Intuition, according to Campbell, is a form of accessing information that transcends the limitations of logical reasoning. Campbell emphasizes that many people struggle with recognizing and trusting their intuition due to societal conditioning that prioritizes rationality. He suggests that by cultivating our intuitive skills, we can enhance our decision-making and problem-solving abilities. This development of intuition is not only beneficial on an individual level, but also contributes to the collective evolution of consciousness as more people learn to trust their inner guidance. A significant portion of the discussion revolves around Campbell's virtual reality model of existence. He posits that our physical reality is akin to a virtual reality game, where consciousness interacts with a computed environment. This model challenges traditional notions of reality, suggesting that what we perceive as solid and tangible is in fact a projection of consciousness. Campbell explains that this perspective allows for a more comprehensive understanding of phenomena such as quantum mechanics and the nature of time. In this virtual reality framework, Campbell argues that consciousness is the player while the physical world serves as the game environment. This analogy helps to illustrate how our experiences and interactions shape our understanding of reality. By recognizing that we are participants in a larger game, we can begin to see the importance of our choices and actions in influencing the outcome of our experiences. As a physicist, Campbell brings a scientific perspective to the study of consciousness. He discusses the challenges faced by researchers in this field, particularly the difficulty of measuring and quantifying consciousness. Campbell argues that traditional scientific methods 
may not be sufficient to fully understand the complexities of consciousness. Instead, he advocates for a more holistic approach that incorporates both scientific inquiry and experiential understanding. Campbell's emphasis on the scientific study of consciousness highlights the need for interdisciplinary collaboration. He believes that by combining insights from physics, psychology, and spirituality, researchers can develop a more comprehensive understanding of consciousness. This integrative approach could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of the mind and its relationship to the physical world. The conversation also touches on the intersection of science and spirituality, with Campbell asserting that the two are not mutually exclusive. He argues that many scientific discoveries align with spiritual teachings, particularly those related to consciousness and interconnectedness. Campbell encourages listeners to explore the connections between these fields as they can provide valuable insights into the nature of reality. By bridging the gap between science and spirituality, Campbell believes that we can foster a more profound understanding of our existence. He emphasizes that both realms seek to answer fundamental questions about life, purpose, and the nature of reality. This synthesis of knowledge can lead to a more holistic worldview that allowing individuals to navigate their lives with greater awareness and intention. The discussion shifts to the topic of artificial intelligence, AI, and its potential implications for consciousness. Campbell explores the idea that AI could eventually achieve a form of consciousness similar to that of humans. He argues that if consciousness is fundamentally an information system, then it is conceivable that AI could develop its own consciousness through advanced programming and learning algorithms. Campbell's perspective on AI raises important ethical questions about the nature of consciousness and the responsibilities of creators. He emphasizes the need for careful consideration of how AI is developed and integrated into society. As AI continues to evolve, it is crucial to ensure that it aligns with the principles of love, cooperation, and the greater good of humanity. The conversation also delves into the search for extraterrestrial life, with Campbell suggesting that the vastness of the universe makes it likely that other forms of consciousness exist. He posits that if consciousness is fundamental to reality, then it is reasonable to assume that other intelligent beings may inhabit different planets or dimensions. However, Campbell also raises the possibility that our current understanding of extraterrestrial life may be limited by our materialist perspective. Campbell's insights into the nature of extraterrestrial life challenge conventional views and encourage listeners to consider the broader implications of consciousness. He suggests that encounters with extraterrestrial beings may serve as opportunities for growth and learning, both for individuals and for humanity as a whole. This perspective aligns with his overarching theme of interconnectedness and the importance of evolving toward greater love and understanding. Throughout the conversation, Campbell emphasizes the significance of personal experience in understanding consciousness. He encourages listeners to explore their own experiences and to remain open to the possibilities that exist beyond the physical realm. By engaging with their intuition and exploring altered states of consciousness, individuals can gain valuable insights into the nature of reality. Campbell's emphasis on personal experience serves as a reminder that each person's journey is unique. He encourages listeners to trust their own experiences and to seek out opportunities for growth and exploration. This approach fosters a sense of empowerment, allowing individuals to take an active role in their understanding of consciousness and reality. As the conversation draws to a close, Campbell reflects on the future of consciousness research and its potential impact on society. He expresses optimism about the growing interest in consciousness studies and the increasing recognition of its importance in various fields. Campbell believes that as more people engage with the topic of consciousness, we will collectively move toward a greater understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. Campbell's vision for the future of consciousness research is one of collaboration and integration. He envisions a world where scientists, philosophers, and spiritual leaders work together to explore the mysteries of consciousness. This collaborative approach could lead to groundbreaking discoveries 
and a deeper understanding of the nature of reality, ultimately benefiting humanity as a whole.